All right, we're going to find all the second partial derivatives of this function of three variables. So don't panic. It's, it's all nice polynomials here. You just have to take your time and pay attention. That's, that's the main point of a problem like this. It helps you take your time and pay attention. Okay, so we're going to start with the basic w sub x. I'm going to leave off the x, y, z just to make it a little easier to write because there's a lot of writing to do, but it's, again, not hard. That's an equal sign. <laughs> so I'm taking the derivative of this with respect to x. Everything else is a constant. So here I take the derivative of x, which is 2x. So that's 6xy. That the derivative with respect to x is plus 2z. That derivative with respect to x is 0. And that one with respect to x is 2y squared z. w sub y. Again, now y is the constant, or I'm sorry, y is the variable. Everything else is a constant. So the derivative of that with respect to y, 3x squared. The derivative of that with respect to y is 0. The derivative of that with respect to y is minus z. And the derivative of that with respect to y, well, that's derivative of 2y, or sorry, y squared is 2y. So that becomes 4yxz. Everything else just rides along. w sub z, everything now but z is a constant. So the derivative of that with respect to z is 0. The derivative of this with respect to z is 2x. The derivative of that with respect to z is minus y. And the derivative of that with respect to z is plus 2y squared x. Okay. So now I'm going to try to do all the other uh, derivatives right underneath. So let me draw a vertical line here. So I'm going to do w sub xx w sub xy, w sub xz. Those are all second partials. So I'm taking the derivative of this with respect to x. That means everything else is constant. So the derivative of that with respect to x is 6y. The derivative of that with respect to y, x is 0. And the derivative of that with respect to x is 0. No x is in those two terms. Now I'm going to take the derivative with respect to y of each piece because there's a y. So the derivative of that with respect to y is 6x. The derivative of that with respect to y is 0. The derivative of that with respect to y, I just have to take the derivative of y squared. So it's going to be plus 4yz. And then the derivative of y sub xz. So z is the variable now. So the derivative of that with respect to z is 0. The derivative of this term with respect to z is 2. And the derivative of this term with respect to z is 2y squared. So if I keep going, I want uh, w sub yy. Now y is the constant. I'm sorry, I keep saying that incorrectly. y is the variable. So the derivative of that with respect to y, 0. The derivative of that with respect to y, 0. The derivative of that with respect to y is 4xz. w sub yx. X is a variable, so that's going to be 6x. The derivative of that is 0. The derivative of that is 4yz. Now notice those two things, x, y, y, x, they're equal. They should be because these are just turned around. Last but not least is w sub yz. Now z is my variable. That'll be 0. Middle term is minus 1. This one is 4yx. Good. Now the last column, y sub zx. x is my variable. It becomes 2, 0, 2y squared. w sub zx should be the same as w sub xz, and notice they are the same, so most likely we did the derivative correctly. Now wzy, 
uh, y is my variable. So I have minus 1 plus 4yx. So wzy should equal wyz. Uh-oh, uh something's not right here. Let's see if I can figure it out. So the partial of this guy with respect to z, oh, this should be 4yx. Notice how I, if they're not the same, there's something wrong. So again, here I take w, w sub y and take it with respect, derivative with respect to z. Minus 1 and z goes away here. So 4yx, that's where my error was. So I fixed it. Now they match, which is what we want. And then last but not least, wzz, which is, now z is my constant. So wcx, cy, zz, there are no z's here. So the derivative of that guy with respect to z is zero. All right, so we learned a little bit here. We have our first orders, functions of three variables, and these are all the six second partial derivatives. But of course, a lot of them are equal. And that's what you have to pay attention to when you're doing derivatives, partial derivatives.